Paul Lels from the Rick Group here. I'm just going to give you a webinar on our warehouse management solution for SAP Business One. The Rick Group is established in 2001 and we've got customers all over the world including Australia and New Zealand, North America, Asia, Middle East and Africa. Our product is certified with SAP Business One HANA and we use the service layer for integration and the DI API for the SQL version. Our customers are in distribution and manufacturing and we've recently been a sponsor at the SAP SMB Innovation Summits in 2018 which was in Ho Chi Minh City, Barcelona and Orlando. We work closely with the SAP Business One channel partners globally and we've been a part of the APJ growth series. So why use the service layer? Well firstly our application is a loosely coupled application meaning we don't have to install our software on the server where SAP is. The service layer is a REST based API and with this we get to use the XS engine and therefore while using the service layer our product has integration with machine learning, mobility, Internet of Things and blockchain. Our warehouse management solution is browser based and is device agnostic. Feel free to email us at sales at rickgroup.com visit our website or visit our YouTube channel for further videos. Now what I'm going to concentrate on today is our receipt from production. So if I go into goods receipt I can go receipt from production. Now in SAP there's a whole lot of production orders and you can see that these production orders are here. I'm just going to go into SAP and I'm going to make a completely new receipt from production on our warehouse management solution. So firstly let's plug in a production order Let's choose our product. We're going to choose the printer. And uh, for example, I'm just going to do a planned quantity of four. So you can see production order 208, planned quantity four. And these are my parts that I uh, need to use or the raw materials to use this finished good. So what we do is change the status from planned to released. And once released, an update. We can go to that production order and we can see 208 is released. Now in our warehouse management solution, 208 isn't there, let's just press refresh. So we just refresh the page, we just go straight down and you can see 208 there. I could also do a fine and say 208 and you can see that straight away. So let's click into the production order and you can see here, here's my product and here's my planned quantity. Now if I click into this product I can now commence my receipt from production. So firstly I'm going to state which bin location I'm going to receipt it into and I'm just going to choose system bin and for this instance I'm going to just choose 2 and add. And you can see here quantity 2. Now if I was to add a quantity again it will increment the quantity. Let's just go back. You can see here here's my audit. Now I've got a manual entry course if I was barcode scanning I could scan the items so if I had a production line I could be scanning the items off the production line right now and completing my receipt and that quantity or that receipt from production will automatically go into SAP Business One. So let's confirm here click OK and so now we've completed that receipt for production and it should go back into SAP Business One. You can see here straight away the issue amount has been incremented based on our receipt from production. So if I right click and I can go to the relationship map, here's my receipt from production and here's the automatic issue to production. So let's double click here and you can see here, here's our receipt from production. I can scroll across and the data has been entered correctly. We've got our remarks to let you know that it's come from our warehouse management solution. Now one of the things is we said system bin and you can see here the system bin or the infantry posting list has come across correctly as well. So that's our receipt from production. Now I could go back and receipt another two for the 208. Here we are and what I might do is, well, I've got my plan quantity of four, we know that. I'm just going to go back into here so you can see.
playing quantity of four. We know that we've already made two, so I'm just going to go and uh, enter the other two, go back and say confirm. So I'm going to confirm that. And that's now uh, going back into SAP. There's another receipt to um, from production. So let's have a look. Uh, just refresh here. You can see here the issue amount. I can see that straight away has been incremented automatically. And if I go back to the relationship map, now I have my two receipt for productions and my two issue productions. For every receipt, there's the issue. So 353, and we've got it here as well. So before I finish the video, I just want to show you another product in a production order, which is a batch tracked product. So we've got one here. I'm just going to put a plan quantity of 10 and add that. So here you can see production order 209. And what I'm going to do is change the status to released and update. Just go back to that production order. So I've got 209 released. Here's my plan quantity. Here's the uh, raw materials to, to make those um, this printer's power supply. And I know it's a batch tracked item. So let's go back to the receipt from production. And uh, on the warehouse management solution, that's uh, 209. Here we are, 209. I can see my item. Now here we are with batch and date. So we've got a batch code being asked and we've also got an expiry date. I'm just going to put this back in the system bin as well. I'm going to receive from production in the system bin. Now of course if I had a barcode uh, scanner attached to my PC right now I could scan that. And then when we've got a batch, well I'm going to make up a, a, a batch here and I'm going to say Paul batch. And then I'm going to choose an expiry date. I'm going to say it's expiring on the 25th of July 2018 and I'm going to receive two and add that. So you can see here, Paul Batch uh, receded into the system bin in quantity of two. So let's go back and we can see here that's, the, that's in the audit. So uh, if we wanted to run KPI reports on how many receipts we're doing from uh, each user, remember that I'm logged in as a user. So the warehouse management system is tracking by user. And I also have date timestamps as well. So let's confirm that and finish that receipt from production. So 209, I've received two, I've got a batch number, I've got an expiry date. Now let's go into SAP. 209, so we know I can see that two and two have been issued. If I right click and go into the relationship map, here's my receipt from production and also my issue from production has been created automatically. I can see here the bin allocation, so we received it into the system bin. We've also put a reference there of details of, that has been done by the Rick Rips Warehouse Management Solution. And if we just quickly have a look at the batch number transaction report, we can see Paul Batch has come across and um, that's come across correctly. And we can see the expiry date 25th of the 7th, 2018. So we receded from the Warehouse Management Solution, the exact batch, the expiry date, and captured the quantity and it's all come through against that production order in SAP Business One. Please feel free to visit our website, email us at sales at the Rick Group for further information. And thank you for listening.